3D Toucan Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did this adorable little 3D Toucan Acrylic Nail Art that I actually did quite a while ago but I was not finished with the painting that I've been working on which has actually taken me way longer than I thought it would. I've been working on this painting for a couple months. Um, I really love the end result of it though and I'm going to be uploading tutorials of it in my art channel or on my art channel I should say. So if you are interested in toucans, love toucans, definitely head over there to check that out. Like I said, it's going to be in several tutorials because there is so much footage that I wanted to actually be able to spend some time on it, so I split it up into a couple different videos. So definitely check those out. I'll put links to those in the description box below, and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So I'm going to start with a really shimmery green background for this, and I toyed around with several colors for the background. I didn't necessarily think I wanted it green because a Kiel Bill Toucan has mostly green for a beak and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't decide and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Part of me said maybe blue, part of me, I went back and forth and then I decided that I would do the background shimmery and then do some outlining to make sure that the toucan popped, which is what I went with and I do like the choices that I made. But if you don't think it shows up enough, switch it up, maybe make it blue or white. White backgrounds always show up really well, so you can play with that if you want. And then I took and I did an overlay of clear acrylic over the top of everything just to make sure that that was nice and strong, as well as to protect the little bit of shimmer that is in the nail. So now I'm going to be filing this and I'm using my e-file just to file it really nice and quick and easy. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to start sculpting out my toucan. So I began with the little wooden branch or the perch that he is going to be standing on. So I just took and made a little twig across the tip of the nail. And you do want to leave some space below it but leave the majority of the space above it. So maybe make it like a quarter of the way up from the tip of the nail. Just a brown little stripe going across there. I do want this to be dimensional though because I do want it to look like he is sitting on there. And then I took just a little bit of a shimmery warm gold acrylic and I just highlighted that branch just enough to make it look a little bit more dimensional even though it was three dimensional to begin with. So then with black acrylic I'm going to be sculpting out the toucan himself and I'm going to begin with his head so just add a circle and as you're doing this you kind of have to envision the size of his body so you know where to place his head above the perch. And then I'm going to be adding his body itself and I, my favorite pose for toucans, which probably sounds like an odd statement, is I like it when their body is facing one way and their head is turning around and they're looking the other way, like they're looking over their shoulder. I love the way toucans look when they do that. So that's the pose that I'm giving this guy. So you gotta also kind of imagine the body shape there. So he's got, like his butt is kind of over to the side. He's a little bit lopsided looking at this point when you don't realize how his beak goes and everything. If that, you know. And then you're also going to want to make sure that you add his wing, but it's, it's so hard to see the black acrylic because it just looks like a black blob. You can't really see the dimensions in the video, at least at this point. And then after you have his body done, go through and add three feathers for his tail. So just add three little bits of acrylic that come up to a point. And um, when you're doing that, just try to keep them separated a little bit. They can kind of sit next to each other, but you do want them to be three separate pieces. And then I'm going to be adding his wing. And I didn't add it before, I'm adding it now. So I'm going to be adding a three-dimensional little wing there onto the side. And so this is going to be the thicker side of the acrylic off to that, you know, kind of crooked looking. That's where the wing goes. So now I'm going to be adding his beak. And so for, I have him with his mouth or with his beak slightly open just a little bit. So for his upper mandible, for the top portion of his beak, it's green for the most part. And then there's this burgundy little end on it. Just make sure that you add that little bit of burgundy there. If you don't want to do all of this with acrylic, all those color changes and things like that, you could definitely just sculpt out his entire beak with the bright green and then go through and add the color variations and the little details on his beak more so later with paint instead. I did do a lot of painting on his beak, but I did want to add those major color sections in the beginning here. So then there is his lower mandible and on the tip of that is going to be a really bright teal blue color. And so he's got red on the top and then blue on the bottom. And that blue is also the same color that is going to be used or that I'm going to be using to make his toes, his feet. So now that I've got his beak pretty much done and as you're doing this just kind of blend those colors together just a little bit but try to leave them separately. I'm now going to be adding his toes like I said with that really really bright teal blue. So they've got, I just, this is actually incorrect as I know this but I gave him three toes per foot and so I'm going to be doing that now, just giving him his three blue toes. So he's got six toes, pretty much little lines of acrylic all next to each other. If you lay down a bead and then you split it up into th the three sections, that's the easiest way I think to do it. Um, toucans actually only have two toes that are forward facing, but I just happen to ignore that at the moment. I don't know. And you're also going to want to add just a little bit of burgundy on the top of each of those tail feathers. So just a little, just a little hint of burgundy under there as you're going about this. 
which is what I'm doing now, just adding that little tiny hint of burgundy under there. It's not very much, just a little bit, just a little tiny, little tiny bit. And then I'm also going to now take, and with a really bright yellow acrylic, I'm going to be adding the feathers that go like up and around the sides of his face. So leave a little space between his beak and where this yellow starts, just a little black line. But then his chest and then around the side of his face is all going to be bright yellow. And since his head is turned to the side, you kind of get it like, it kind of just goes and continues from the side of his face and then over and down his chest. So there's got th the side of his face and his chest. Then you just got to connect the two with that really pretty bright yellow acrylic. I absolutely adore toucans. I just wanted to point that out really quickly. I cannot get enough of them. They are incredible and amazing and I just want to hold them. And then I'm going to be giving him his eye with some white acrylic. And one more quick thing I want to say about toucans is that, and you're going to see a little bit more of this personal story later on or in my painting video or painting videos that are on my art channel that I mentioned is that I actually at one point fed a toucan a grape. I was standing about 10 feet away from him and I tossed it to him and he caught it and that was one of the more enjoyable experiences of my life tossing grapes to a toucan and oh they're so pretty. Anywho, now I'm going to be taking black acrylic paint that is slightly diluted, as you can see, I did that on my thumb, and I'm just going to be highlighting, or not highlighting, I'm going to be outlining certain areas of my toucan that I feel like need a little bit more definition. So I'm, I highlight around his beak to make sure that the two greens really did separate out from each other, add some details around his eye, as well as I got those little stripes on their beak, and then with white, diluted white, I'm going to be highlighting pretty much everything, beak, feathers, chest, wing, tail, branch, the whole nine yards really make sure that you highlight him so that he does pop and then I'm going to be taking gel sealer and painting that over that shimmery green background everywhere that that green shows up as well as over the top of his eye curing that after it's cured applying matte top coat over the rest of the 3d art so over the rest of the toucan over his tail feet beak body perch all of that good stuff I thoroughly enjoyed making this nail and as I said there is going to be several painting videos on a painting that I just finished on my art channel that I'll be uploading over the next couple days so please check those out if you love toucans as much as I do and don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!